This is a lesson on using patterns to multiply. So um, if you haven't done so already, then please complete this chart by using patterns. So you can use patterns uh, going down or across. It'll work either way. So please pause the video if you haven't done so and play again once your chart is complete. Okay, and here are the answers. So you may have noticed some patterns were easier to go across and some down. So for example, 11 is really easy because you'll notice this is double digits all the way across. Okay. Um, and 8 was really easy because uh, the 1's place just goes, goes sort of skip counts backwards by 2. So it goes... Uh, 0, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, and so on. And then just goes 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 12 repeats itself again here, 13, 14, 15, 16, and so on. So please double check your sheet. And make sure that all of your answers is the same as this one. Um, and if you haven't checked already, then please pause and continue when you've finished. So um, this is a pretty short lesson, but it's just showing you that you can use patterns and mental, mul mental math to multiply. So the mental math with multiplying really only works when you know your basic multiplication. So that's the 0 to 9. So um, if you can tell me what 8 times 9 is without having to figure it out, then mental math becomes a lot easier. And as you get into the higher level maths, that math becomes easier, easier as well. So if you don't already know of your multiplication skill, uh, numbers from 0 to 9, then I would, I would be practicing that at home or whenever you have time. So um, let's look at an example of using mental math and patterns to multiply. So it says um, 6 times 79. So this might look like too big of a number to multiply in your head. But if you look at 79, we know that this is really close to 80. And we like numbers with 0 at the end because that turns into a uh, one digit by one digit number. And then we just put that 0 onto the end, as we learned before. So um, if I were to go 6 times 80 instead, that's like saying um, 80 groups of 6 instead of 79 groups of 6. So if I have 80 groups of 6 and I can find the answer of that, then if I just take one of those groups of 6 away, then I will find 79 groups of 6. So that would look like this. Um, 6 times 80, so this is where knowing your multiplication is handy. 6 times 8 is 48. So if you just take 6 away from 480, you will get your answer, which would be 474. So 6 times 79 equals 474. Now this strategy um, works best when this uh, number is close to one of the benchmarks of 10. So if this is closest to 80 or if this was 72, I would put it to uh, 70 and then add two groups of 6. Okay, so it's just rounding it to the closest benchmark. So rounding it up or down based on this number right here, and then taking away or adding uh, whatever number that you, that you uh, added or subtracted from this number from the answer. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, if that doesn't, didn't make sense, then make sure you rewatch the explanation of this one. And then um, try this one. Try to use mental math to solve 8 times 42. So you'll want to use your rounding rule of um, look to the right or look right next door. Um, four or less, let it rest. Five or more, raise the score. So use that, that rule. And then um, for this one, you're going to be taking away some. So you'll have to add them back after. That's my hint. Okay. So pause this and then play again once you think you've got it. Or if you're stuck, you can also watch it. Okay. So if we were going to use mental math, so technically I would do this in my head, 
but since uh, we're just learning how to do it, it's best to write it down and then learn, learn the strategy and then we can do it in our head. So um, I'm going to go eight times and then I'm going to round this number down two, two groups of eight. So I'm going to have to add two groups of eight back on. Okay, at the end, I'm going to add two groups of eight. Now I can do two times eight because that equals 16. So whatever my answer is here, I'm going to have to add 16 to it to get my real answer, right? Because this is like saying 42 groups of eight. We're gonna find 40 groups of eight first and then add on two more groups of eight, which is 16. Okay, so eight times four, that's easy. We can go 32, put that zero on at the end, and then all I have to do is add 16 to there. Oops, add 16. So I could do that in my head as well. And that's the whole purpose of that would be 336. Okay, so that's how you do mental math, but because you're learning, you won't just do it in your head. You need to write down the steps. Okay, so that's what you're practicing in this um, assignment. So don't remember, or don't forget, don't remember, don't forget that if you are making this number go down, then you need to add later. If you're making this number go up, then you need to subtract after. Think about it logically. Okay, um, your assignment is on page 294, and it is numbers 1 to 4 and 6. Okay, oh, that was almost like your last one, but the 6 instead of a 7.